Thanks for that, Tristan. 38 minutes now past the hour time for the morning mix. All right, let's get started. We're talking about a robot making burrito. You ready okay. for this? Are I'm not hungry? into robots, in case you didn't know <laughs> at all. Well, Chipotle's <laughs> latest hire might mean no more long lines. That's a thing of the past. Earlier this week, Chipotle went serious on Instagram, providing a preview with Hyphen, its collaborative robot who's currently being tested to make burrito bowls and salads beside human co-workers. Around 65% of Chipotle's digital orders consist of bowls and salads. So with Hyphen on board, team members would be freed up to focus on the guest experience. So, I can get yeah. with this because it's not like an actual robot coming yeah. to serve me. That's what I don't like. This is different. And okay. here's the thing, when you walk inside- speed it up, that'll work. Yeah, when you walk inside Chipotle, they're working on a mobile order. I'm like, I'm right here in person. <laughs> can you help me? Anyway, uh, while increasing the amount of digital orders- <laughs> How do you orders, really feel? Go ahead. Yeah, during the peak period. Well, that viral moment from Beyonce's Renaissance World Tour has made its way into the classroom. What? After participating in the Mute Challenge during Beyonce's first night in Atlanta, Georgia, teacher Amber Drummond saw the similarities between the Mute Challenge and the call and response that she uses in her first grade classroom. After explaining the meaning of the word mute to her classroom, which she nicknamed Dehive, Drummond <laughs> Dr <laughs> tried it out with her students, and this is how it went. The firsties after prepping them the day before. Look around and everybody's on mute. I love it. Use that at home. I'm going to try that more. with the twins. Yeah, They're going to look please. at me like I'm crazy. Please <laughs> record it. Not bad beehive at all. Well, speaking all right. of Beyonce. Good job. Day of the Girl Child. The day was established by the United Nations to promote the rights of girls and address the unique challenges we face around the world. It was first celebrated in 2012. The theme for this year is Digital Generation, Our Generation. You can join in on the girl power by taking a selfie. Keith, get your phone out right okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. Tagging International Day of the Girl Child. Are we gonna do we're that gonna take our live? Or are we doing it right, right now? It live, come on in, come in. We're gonna okay, post it. Here we go. There we go. We gotta take our selfie. Ah! And, and by the way, Jasmine <laughs> helps me with this. She's like big on social media. And, and we're talking about Day of the Girls. This is also about female empowerment, which yes. I love. And folks don't know this about Lauren, but she's a big advocate for first STEM and teaching our girls oh. the sciences, which I, I love about you, Lauren. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to school visit today. Yes. I'm uh, going to read uh, one of my favorite weather books to some little kiddos. Oh, say, can you say what's the weather today? <laughs> oh, good old Dr. Seuss book. Uh, and it's fun. And let's say, what is the weather today? 